Hey guys, I uh, got a, some information for you real quick. Um, those of you that are running ASRock motherboards on uh, Ryzen uh, platforms, um, if you've been having an issue getting your XMP overclocks for your RAM to work, um, I, I haven't been running X370, but I have been running a B350 motherboard of Fatality um, Gaming K4. I've had an issue getting my RAM to overclock on XMP profile uh, since I built my machine and so uh, they came out with a BIOS update um, middle part of last month I think they uh, created it somewhere around the 15th and I think the release date was around the 18th or something like that of, of uh, January but um, I went out today and did an update on that and I want to show you uh, what kind of um, you know what it did for me Okay, so we're on the desktop here, and real quickly, I want to uh, open up CPU-Z. Now, uh, just to give you some, some quick information, um, I have a 16-gig uh, set of uh, Corsair DDR4, and it's 3,000 uh, megahertz speed. And since I built this machine, I have not been able to get it to run um, at its uh, listed uh, speed of... Uh, you know that it says it'll run at so um, I have uh, gone into uh, the BIOS and and trying to do XMP 2.0 uh, overclock for the RAM and it just would not take um, it would just cycle through on the boots and, and it never would take I it would always want to run it you know stock 2133 and so I was able to go in into XMP and then cut it down to 2400 and I did manage to get it to run at 2400 but that's as far as I could ever get it well today I installed the new BIOS and so the BIOS I'm running on today is uh, I think it's 4.6 we'll verify that here in just a minute we'll, we'll pull that information up for you where you can see it but um, I did the latest uh, upgrade and the funny thing is when you go to ASRock's site it doesn't say anything about uh, you know fixing any kind of uh, overclocking or XMP issues it says you know preparation for you know new processors that are coming out which will be you know the second generation rise and that'll be releasing this year and so I said well you know it may help I'll try it so I installed it and I want to show you what it's doing now so just real quick I'm going to show you that I am uh, overclocked on my processor at uh, 3925 um, I tried to push this up to 4 and I could get it to run at 4 um, but I had to keep the voltage up at like 1.425 and I just, I just didn't want to leave it that high uh, it may be fine but um, you know I, right now I'm at 1.3825 at 3925 and, and that works that works for me so I, I did some testing and um, that 0.75 is not that big of a gain uh, to risk um, just running higher voltage you know because um, everything that I've read you know you don't really want to go over for 1.425 on the voltage anyway and so I'd rather keep it down below 1.4 if I can so I, I'm happy with that at, at 39.25 but um, if we go over to the memory tab you can now see that I'm now running 2933 and so um, I went in and basically just enabled XMP 2.0 overclock uh, in the BIOS and it's working great. So um, it modified my timings and all for me. Um, it's running stable, runs great. I've run Cinebench. Uh, I've run it a couple of times. Uh, I ran it earlier while I was running an OBS recording and you know I was I kept getting a lower score. It kept consistently running at like 1603 and I was like well this thing just ran 1714 no problem and uh, finally it clicked well you didn't have OBS running uh, you know running camera and, and, and audio recording at the same time so that was cutting down on the on the testing so I turned all that off went back re-ran it sure enough I was back up where I needed to be uh, but anyway I, you know I'm running at uh, at XMP and so um, I just plugged in XMP profile in the BIOS. Now I will tell you this, there are some updates in that BIOS. Uh, some of the options are different. There's some more options in there now than there was on the previous version. I was on 3.30 uh, and then there was an update 3.4, but uh, 
that um, was a, uh, a BIOS bridge update and I had to update to that one before I could go to 4.6. Now there was two that were released, well actually there were three that were released in January, the bridge update and then there was a 4.4 and then a 4.6, if I remember correctly, um, from Azrock's page. As a matter of fact, let's let's jump over there real quick and let's pull that up, so I can show you. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm I'm not the best typer, but uh, uh, if we jump over here to Azrock and then uh, instead of jumping to the newest, I want to show you what it's showing for options out there. So uh, let's see, AMD Fatality and here we go right here okay so as you know you go into the support tab here and you can go to the BIOS and then here you can see all the BIOS updates that are out here now I was on 3.3 uh, .3. this was the one that I was on right here um, this was the most recent one that I updated and I did this one back um, end of end of December I've had this PC built for probably six seven weeks I guess something like that roughly uh, maybe a little bit longer than that but I've done some testing and stuff on it too but anyway this was the last one that I had well then on 110 they came out with this bridge BIOS well I come out I was coming out periodically to check on these BIOS updates uh, because of the issue I was having to get my RAM to overclock right I wasn't having any problems getting the the processor to overclock all that was working great but I could not get the XMP uh, to work and um, I went out and did a lot of research and looking and and I really couldn't find a good solution for it so I was just I kind of kept checking back and on these BIOS updates and so <clears throat> then this one came out they actually released it on the 26 now this is 4.6 all right so but see here on 110 they also released a 4.30 and so, and both of them were instant flash updates. So, what I did today was I came out and looked, and I saw that this 4.6 was out here, and you know it makes the note for future coming processors. But then it had the note to make sure you go to 3.4 first, which is your bridge bus. So what I did was I went out and I updated to 3.4, and then after all that posted and updated, and I booted a couple of times, then I went to 4.6. I, I didn't even do 4.3. I went right to 4.6 installed this and went back into the BIOS, ran the overclock my, my CPU to where I wanted. I knew that my CPU would run no problem and I enabled XMP and I rebooted and everything came right up. It didn't cycle, didn't do any of that. I mean it immediately posted, it immediately worked and needless to say I was very very happy. So um, you know I don't have to change or swap anything out on this machine. Everything works great. And so, you know, if you're having that same issue, I know there's no way I was the only one having that issue. And the thing was, um, the the RAM that I bought was sold in a package deal through Newegg with that mother, with this motherboard and this processor. And so, and you know, I went back and looked on the list, and sure enough, that that this RAM package that I have was not on the approved list. However, with this newest BIOS, it works great. I didn't have to do anything other than go in and tell it to enable XMP profile. So, and unfortunately, I don't have a way to screen capture in the BIOS. Um, you know, I could try to point the camera at it to show you guys, but uh, I may try to set that up and just kind of walk through and show you some of the updates in the new BIOS. But um, one thing I noticed was different when you first go into the BIOS and you go into the overclock mode, there's an option there that says like uh, ASRock, and then there's another one that says AMD. Uh, I left mine on the ASRock side and went through and did my overclock and everything worked great. So I'm not sure what that other side on the AMD may be to be able to overclock for second generation maybe. I don't know, but um, I didn't really, I didn't go into that or mess with that because I want to make sure that, um, you know, everything worked like I needed it to work. So I didn't really want to change all that stuff around. So anyway, if you're having the same problem I am, download this one right here. And, um, you know, if you'll put this in, you'll get everything that's in 4.3 plus whatever else they added. And of course they uh, updated the AGESA. Anytime they update those, usually that means improvements for, for overclocking and, 
and uh, you know making things work great with more and more RAM. So anyway, uh, just wanted to pass this information along to you guys. Um, and you know, the last time that I that I ran Cinebench a while ago. Uh, before I started uh, recording, this was my score right here. It was a 1726, and that's my machine. That's the one, I saved it right there. So, uh, 1726. So the time I ran it before that was 1714. So it actually improved just a little bit. And I know that's going to vary up and down a little bit, but I'm very very happy with that. So, and then also I ran some uh, some Unigen um, benchmarks on this machine. I've got a uh, an RX 570 8 gig card in here, Gaming X is MSI version, and um, on high settings, I was averaging out on Unigen. Um, it was over like 100 and uh, 102 on um, frame rates, and then I ran it on uh, Ultra, and I came out like 78.6, uh, which I thought was fantastic. So. And, and I'm only running at 1080. I'm not running 1440. So I did run it on 1440, and it still ran around 74 frames uh, running uh, Unigine Heaven. So uh, overall, this uh, machine is um, is running great. Uh, I had a few bugs to get worked out, mainly with uh, BIOS for the for the motherboard. But uh, anyway, um, it's a great motherboard. You get to write updates in there for the BIOS. So. I highly recommend it. Uh, anybody that's out there that that's looking, and uh, hopefully these GPU prices will start going back down. So, anyway, I uh, hope you guys uh, find this information helpful. And uh, you know, if it does help you, or you're having the same uh, issue, if this helps correct you, how about leave me a comment down below and let me know if it was able to help you or not. And uh, anyway, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a great day.